the audio check. Click check. One more check.
Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, nothing too crazy today. We're doing Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. And then you laugh, you lose, or cards if people want to do art today. Um, as some chatters know, we had a bonus stream on Sunday, and we had the first ever Animal Crossing. Not invitational, but playing with the viewers event. And we're gonna do a little, like, recap of it real quick. I think it went really well. It seemed like chatters, along with viewers, had a look- I- I said a long time. Had a good time. So, I kinda wanna watch a few clips from the actual event. Um, chatters, if you're not already, go follow my Twitter. I don't know why my voice is so fucky today. We have you gotta- go ahead. So, chatters, if you didn't know, um, I think we're gonna start doing monthly Animal Crossing streams along with the Mark Art Tournament. We are doing the- tournament on the last Sunday of the month, which is the 31st, so I spelled tourney wrong, Lama. Which is gonna be the last Sunday of the month. I believe we're doing no shells, but we're gonna finalize that by this upcoming week. So look forward to that, guys. Um, so basically how the event went is, we're gonna watch two clips, because I think these are the two best clips from the, from the event. Let's go ahead and pause this music. There we go, okay. So basically, I had ingredients scattered around my island, and then viewers came in, found ingredients, and then they had to make whatever three crafted items were at the bottom of the screen. So the VOD is up from Sunday. It was actually my most, I think, popular VOD. It got the most viewed, which is kind of crazy to me. But it seems like <laughs> VOD watchers and chatters like the actual stream. So let's go ahead and watch the, the, the two best clips from the stream. I think this one right here is called Can They Hop? I think this one has got to be... I think one of the best stream mo e moments ever. It was crazy. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Chefs, go! Go find your ingredients. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Can you not? He's not. So, the reason why I had those pit holes there is so, like, people couldn't leave the kitchen early. But, for the first time, people couldn't off. Off? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> get out of the way! Oh, you get off! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm literally crying. I think that's the hardest I've laughed in a long time. Like, if we look at the chat room, they're, they're like, losing their mind. Wait, let me scroll. Why is it not letting me scroll? Anyway, if you look at the chat, they're fucking losing their mind. Uh, it was a great moment. It was good. It was good. Uh, another, I think, a funny bit that I did. So, in the final round, um, as previously mentioned, chefs had to make three items, but for the final round, they had to make six. You can see here. There's six items they have to craft. But then for the final one, because I had different stations scattered around the island to, like, find the uh, like I sat in front of one of them because I think it was... I think it was Mocha who did this another time. Like, they just sat, like, in... Because, like, there's only one path of entry, right? So they just sat right here, right? I'm gonna be a toll bridge. I'm, like, one of those trolls that take a toll. If you want pumpkins, you have to pay a fee. I want 1k. I think it's so funny that people no, went along you can't hit me with out the, the bit. I need 1k. That is your toll. You know, Maggie Sports, we've been struggling. We need sponsors. We got loaded sponsors today. I need I need to pay the electricity bill. Rollo's Kitchens? Okay, let's see. Is it enough? 1k, thank you, my good sir. Or ma'am. Or they them. Get back to my toll. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's such a good bit. And hi, Will Falcon in the stream. You must pay the toll. 1k. You must pay the toll. Wait, yeah, those, those you two guys little shits. Okay, you guys came at the same time sabotaging me. Yeah, I came at the same time. They're actually scamming. Okay, thank you, my good chefs. I, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm and I'm gonna be a toll. This is a stupid one-off bit, but I think it was a good moment. I think those are the two best, like, moments from the stream. Like, we were just goofing and gaffing with each other, right? Um. So that was a quick recap of the cooking stream. I thought it was a good stream. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for next month's Animal Crossing event. We'll see. We'll see. But the last thing I want to talk about before we start racing 
is let me actually pull up the tweet Dude, where is it actually oh right here i found it okay so <clears throat> shatters my one year stream anniversary is going to be august 2nd meaning it's been a year since i started streaming okay that was stupid obvi obvi it's been a year but um so with chatters we did a poll on twitter the other day it was a hundred percent yes for a subathon um if you don't know what a subathon is a subathon is basically there's a timer on screen and then whenever the timer ends the stream ends but the way a subathon works is time is added to the timer when people subscribe here to the channel. So I've never done one. I've said subathon is no content, but I think it would be interesting to try for the first time this year. Also, hi, welcome to Stream Puppy Lover and welcome to Stream Pride. Um, so chatters, would you guys be down if I did a subathon? Would you guys hate me if I tried to do a subathon? We can talk about more logistics and ideas later. Um, when we're doing, like, art and stuff later. Because if we're going to do a subathon, then I have to think about the logistics and everything. I think what I want to do is I want to have a baseline of three hours. Like, that'll be where the subathon will, like, start. And then I'll put a 12-hour cap because I think the uncapped subathons can be predatory to an extent. Um like i know we don't have oilers i know most people are either younger or like working class so i don't okay i want people to donate but also i don't want people to feel like they have to so i think having a cap on it is appropriate um let's say for example i think um stonepaw is doing a subathon right now or it ended where it's one sub equals five minutes so let's do some math if it's capped at 12 then that means a hundred subs i think a hundred is more than enough so i think a 12 hour cap is reasonable we'll, we'll t i'll think about more logistics because i got like two weeks to plan it out but chatters if you have any ideas for activities you can go check out the tweet and put your ideas in the replies uh, i think what i want to do is i definitely want to grind for sm30 world to get the final levels and then maybe we can go back to Odyssey and do Darker Side, because I never finished Darker Side. Because we did Darker Side nearly a year ago on stream, because I think Odyssey was one of the first few games I actually played on stream. Um, and then we could probably do, like, Arts and Crafts. I just need to think about what activities I want to do. So if you guys have any other ideas, put them in that Twitter reply. Um, I think that's all. I really had <laughs> news wise nothing else really happened but um i think what we'll also do for the sub then i'll have donation incentives as well like i i'll probably do a couple challenges where i have to give subs because i feel bad if chat only does um what do you call it only if chat only donates i think i'll do sub incentives for myself as well because i i'm setting aside money for that specific stream so we'll probably do We'll do sub incentives, but hi Deacon, welcome to stream. Um, so like I said, chatters, if you have any ideas, post in the Twitter replies of that tweet. I would appreciate it. Um, I think that's all I got for you guys. Talking about subs, let's go ahead and set up our sub goal for the day. Let's see. We're at 61, so I think our next goal is going to be 70. We're looking at our long-term sub goals. Let's see. Oh yeah, chatters, I forgot. Um, if we had 70 subs, we'll do a one of Pokemon Snap stream. And I think last week we hit 50 and 60. So if you look at my schedule, we're doing a bonus stream this Friday, which is gonna be if I curse, I gift chat subs. And then the following Friday, which is the 29th, I think we're doing if I say blank, then blank. So chat unlocked two bonus streams last week, but our current sub goal is gonna be 70. <laughs> So I think I think that's all the announcements I have for today. Nothing too crazy. But like I said, I'm going to be planning that subathon, things we can do, buying props and shit. Oh, also, what I wanted to do, similar to the um, birthday stream, 
for anybody who does donate on the subathon, I want to like write names on the wall. So I'll make a different type of wallpaper. But I don't know what type of theme I want for it yet. So I gotta think about it. I was gonna do like a cake, but that's what we did for the birthday, so uh, Deacon, get a fan, easy clap. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Hi Titans, welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Let's get started. I keep on saying let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so today, similar to last week, we're grinding and trying to get all gold trophies for the, um, mirror mode. I think last week we got like four or five, yeah? We're also gonna be doing predictions every round. Oh wow, I got two, four, six, I got seven last week? Oh, I got more than I fucking thought. Okay. Anybody want to change my character? Anybody want to choose my character? Orange Yoshi? Okay. Thank you for your demon deacon, I appreciate that. And hi, welcome to Stream Lemon. Oh, did I just go across the top? Oh, I did, okay. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, chatters. First prediction is up for the day. Do you think I will get first place? Okay. I've noticed that I've been playing Mario Kart a lot less offline. Like, the only games I started playing offline is Fall Guys and, um... I was gonna say Wii Sports, but Nintendo Sports, because, like, I try to- I want to try and get the weekly skins. <laughs> because I think the current skin in, um, I keep wanting to say the- wanting to say Wii Sports, but it's fucking Nintendo Switch Sports. Can you snipe him? Easy! I think the current skin for this week is, like, the volleyball set, and I want it so bad! Because I used to be such a big fan of Haiku. Like, you know, the anime. Okay, mirror mode is definitely throwing me off for this track. I'm not used to it at all. Yeah, I used to be such a big fan. I was so close to buying the Nendoroid figurines, but they were, like, literally way too expensive. So I'm really glad I didn't buy them. Because, like, I still enjoy the show. I haven't read the manga as much, because, like, I don't like the style of the manga. But, um... But, like, I'm not into the fandom anymore, so I'm really glad I didn't buy any, like, collectibles or memorabilia. Because my sister, she bought- I think she bought the full set of the manga for Demon Slayer. And she finally finished the first volume last night, so I, now I can actually start reading it. Because she's been stalling for two weeks now, and I'm still mad at her. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank you for the 500 bits, Titans. I appreciate that, hon. You're gonna go ahead and get your name written at the end of the stream. Oh, thank you. Oh! <laughs> I got inked and I got distracted. <laughs> I can't let Deacon have the upper hand. I totally get that, like, if I see a leaderboard, I feel like I have to be at the top of it. Like last night, oh my god, I was so- I was fine with it, but I was also mad at myself because I mean, one of my friend streams, I think the person at the top had like seven, so I gifted eight just to be a little shithead. <laughs> like, it, it's low-key super predatory, but you know, it works, it works. Like, Twitch knows how to farm, which is fine, because ultimately it goes to help support the streamer, so I can't get too mad about it. You just want to be Deacon? Okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> Easy. Hi, Zane. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. It's actually pretty chill here in Washington. Like, we're not suffering as much of a heat wave. Like, it's been fairly overcast. Dude, that race went on way too long. I fucking hate 150cc. Oh, anyway. 
So, like, it hasn't rained in nearly two weeks, but it's still, like, chill. It's weird. Like, it's a pleasant amount of sun. But I still have to water every night, and it's annoying. <laughs> I, I totally get what you mean, Crystal. Like, I do <coughs> Excuse me. New predictions up. I usually, like, budget myself, like, 20 bucks a week to spend on stream. And by that, I mean, like, donating to friends. Because I posted a TikTok about it the other day. Um, but basically... If I could tip my delivery driver five dollars, then I could give my streamer a dollar every stream. Like, I think that's fairly reasonable in my head. Like, I can afford that much as of right now. And when I say that, chatters, don't donate. <laughs> I mean, don't ever feel like you have to. It's just, like, the way I kind of see it. Like, it is nice that Twitch is offering a lower payout minimum for some regions and countries. Like, that's really nice that they're offering it. But there's some people who can't withdraw every month, and it sucks. So I think it's important to help support the small people. We have 46% in doubt? Really? Huh? <laughs> no need for doting when there's Oilers in the chat? I- I think- I don't have- I don't think I have any rich heads in chat. I think I have working class individuals. I don't- I, we, I think we talked about it last week, but aren't there like celebrities or like people online who have alt accounts? Like, what is, like... Fuck! <laughs> it's like... Who was a secret celebrity in chat, you know what I mean? But also, don't expose yourself, because that ruins the fun. Guess who, Megan? Guess who, Megalol? Like, what? <laughs> You're always gonna be a doubter? Damn. Damn. Feels bad, man. See, I wish I could justify spending more money on, like hair products or skincare, but I just don't give a shit. I know because like I am blessed with somewhat decent skin. Like it's, it's definitely the best it's been, but I haven't like washed my face in ages, which I know is really bad. I know it's actually horrible. But it's just I don't like the feeling of stuff on my face. Like even water, I don't like it. I mean, I still like wash my face. I don't, I don't use like facial cleansers. What I get? I got first, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, I need to boost my audio. <laughs> Imagine if K K Kakashi Hataki is here. That'd be crazy. Alright, I'm, I'm pumping up my audio. <clears throat> Hi, Blaine. Welcome, stream. Hope we're doing well today. <laughs> my mom said if I ask for money, she'll, she'll send me to my aunties. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean, I don't think I ever asked my parents much for money when I was younger. Wait, I need to say that again. I need to farm for a clip. Oh, I'm gone? Uh-oh. Thank you, Deacon. Average TikToker on Twitch moment. I'm just trying to farm, okay? There we go. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> <clears throat> now she's me gone? Wait. Somebody write this down. I actually need to write that down. Because you ever see those emotes where it's like them? Like, you know the, the Thanos meme where he snaps and then they disappear? Wouldn't that be a great emote? Like, actually? I'm gonna write that down. Me gone. <laughs> okay, someone write that down. That's actually really good, Asley. That's a really good one. Okay. Because, like, I don't have any more um, animated emote slots. So the only way I can get more animated is if we do the 7TV extension ones. So that might be a good one. A fading away evil smile. <laughs> that might be another good one. Okay, I'm dog shit at this track. Like, actually. Even normally, I'm not too good at this one. You would use it all the time. Oh yeah, because we need to- I need to switch out Peace I 2 though. Like, literally nobody uses Peace I 2 though. So I'll, I'll try and work on that. I'll have that ready for you guys next week, hopefully. 
All right, maybe I'll just crank it out today if I'm feeling it. This is one of your favorite tracks, really? I, I don't like this one. I don't like how there's two different paths. It makes me feel like I'm going down the wrong one every time. Ah! <laughs> I hate that line so much. Oh wait, I just realized that a boombox and I'm in first. I am blessed. I am so lucky right now. Bruh. <laughs> Wait, can the boombox, like, blast the lightning away? Is that a thing? DLC maybe next month, but honestly, I don't know. Because if they were gonna like segment them out, like with an equal amount of time, hopefully they re would release a new track like every four or six months. But I don't know. Ah! <laughs> oh come on! They have a red shell. God damn it! <gasps> no way! No fucking way! Damn it! What even happened at the end there? Oh no! Damn, that's a bummer. Am I even gonna get a gold this time? Hmm. I think in order for me to gold, because I think to get the gold trophies, you just have to get first overall. So I do have first still right now, so I just have to make sure I get first the next race. <laughs> Not Pog. <laughs> hey, Chatter's new prediction of Go Gamba. Yoshi wrong? How am I doing wrong? Is there a right way to play him? Cause like, it's not like every character has like a special move or something. Yeah, past streams are called VODs. It stands for Video On Demand. And it was kind of a weird term. Ah! Oh my god! Just do better? Well, valid, but you know. You don't even have a fucking switch, right, Lemon? So you can't be talking shit. Oh! God damn it, they literally blazed it right there. <laughs> oh, technically on Vice, you, there is a way to drift faster. Like, see right here? How I'm tilting the joystick? You, can, you might not hear it clicking, I just don't do that strategy all the time. Because it's sometimes like a bit too much for my little brain to handle. So you can still like do that quick drift thing. I, I don't remember what it's called. I know it's called something. But you, you can still do it with bikes. It's just I don't do it all the time. Like right here. I definitely need to practice it though. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I agree. I. Usually, I will watch VODs, not all the time, but occasionally, like, the only streamer that I will watch, like, every single stream, even if I miss it, is always gotta be Hassan, because I feel like I need to, like, keep up with the news. You know, so, like, I will always watch his VODs. But I agree, watching without delay is kind of weird. The only thing I don't like watching about VODs on desktop is that the chat doesn't line up. It's usually, like, a few seconds off, and it's kind of annoying. I should have gone for the skip! Oh wait, I still went for it. Easy. No! Oh, come on! Go! 
Easy. Easy clap, guys. Look at that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think yes, sir is one of my favorite terms. You were close. Yeah, I almost threw at the end. But you know what? I think that's still a gold trophy, right? We can't all be winners, true. <laughs> it's so weird, like, going back and clipping previous, like, VODs and stuff for TikTok. Because, like, there's obvious, like, times where I have, like, way too base takes, but then I'm like, maybe I shouldn't make that joke again. <laughs> like, you you guys will see this post soon on TikTok, in probably, like, a week or two. But I was making a joke about not wearing a helmet. Um, and, like, if you don't know, in America, like, policemen can, like, take you for not wearing a helmet. Like, that happened to one of my friends, right? So I was saying that the, the joke was basically... If I don't wear a helmet, I'm worried that I'm gonna be hate crimed by a police officer, and that was the joke. And I was like, should I post this one? But I was like, it's kinda funny, so. <laughs> I was gonna try and make a compilation of the cooking event and like post it on TikTok, but I don't know. Oh, anybody wanna change my character? Anybody wanna change it? I was gonna like edit and repost on TikTok, but. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, isn't it kind of weird how you see, like, people filming TikToks at their workplace, too? It says out of stock, really? No, it's not out of stock, you goof. <clears throat> okay, we'll do Yoshi again for now. It shouldn't be out of stock. Oh, never mind. It was just... Add a stuff for you, Crystal. Try and refresh your tab if it doesn't work. Chatters, if it's not working, refresh your tab, but someone else just redeemed it, so maybe. I think what it might be, if someone opens it, maybe only one person can have an open at a time. I don't know. So, Wolf chose or chose art. What did you guys with art say? Is that the color of the day? Wait, our overlay is yellow, so I guess kind of. Okay, let's do the next break. Character Selector Royale. You guys just gotta have faster fingers. Because one of my friends, she has a channel for redemption to where um, she'll eat a... Those disgusting jelly beans. The bean boozle. And it, it's like on a timer for every 30 minutes. So I have my finger on the trigger. Ready? To make her eat a bean. <laughs> Anybody know the words for... Anybody know their words for a minute? I think mine is like 50 something, but I feel like my accuracy has gone down. Cause like, I don't have dyslexia, but I definitely feel like I have difficulty spelling now, or just memorizing. Like, I have difficulty speaking as well, which is becoming a problem. And like, also my mobility and my fingers is somewhat limited. So like, whenever I do like edit, and like repost the clips to YouTube like I have to manually type everything in like it's not on mobile Like I find that I I mess up like every other word and it's really fucking annoying Maybe I think I just need to keep practicing typing more Yours is about 70 fuck dude 90 to 100 I had a friend who in high school for fun They would play type racer like during free time and they would their words per minute were like 120 actually crap They were insane Like, I can't imagine typing that quickly. And their accuracy was still like a solid like 90%. It's crazy. I'm trash. <laughs> I think it'd be cool if they had like typing class in school. Cause I think the closest to it we had computer lab. Oh! What was that even? Um, we had compu computer class where we basically learned how to use like Microsoft programs, like Word, Excel, that type of thing. But we didn't have, like, a typing class. But you're EU, Deacon. All- everybody here- okay, I know Aslan is EU as well. But all of the American frogs, we did- we don't- our education is shit, so we don't get anything. Okay, I'm not tricking. Why am I not tricking? You had typing class? Yeah- oh wait, Lemon is from United States. Well, you were lucky, I guess. 
Crystal was lucky as well. Well, I guess our districts suck. <laughs> No! No! Do not take this from me! We're gonna get right up on him. Oh my god, I clapped him in the air! You guys see that? That was epic! The American school system. <laughs> Your school had personal laptops? I think during pandemic, every student got issued a laptop, but prior to that, because I graduated in 2017, um, we had like a computer cart, so our teacher would wheel out the computer cart that had all the laptops in it. So we we, we weren't allowed to take them home. And I remember anytime like a laptop was put in the wrong place, like we couldn't go to recess until all the laptops were in the proper shelf because they were all like numbered and labeled. And I remember our computer teacher would get so pissy whenever we didn't plug them in all the way. She'd be like, it's not that hard to plug in the charger. What were we talking about earlier when I was like, wait, I need to farm for a clip and then the camera shot? What were we talking about? <laughs> I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, fuck. Because, like, I think the... I think the most fun part about having a more active um, chat room now is that we don't know where the conversation's gonna go, you know? No way. No way. Oh yeah, asking parents for money, you're right, you're right. I was about to say WAP. No, that's literally not what it was. Guys, I fell off. I'm in fucking six plays. <laughs> yeah, I, I, cause like, I was gonna lead the parents, like begging your parents for money to something else. Oh, okay, I know what I was gonna talk about. I think I'm getting money from parents. Um. <laughs> no! God damn it! I hate this! I hate this! I hate this! Wait, chatters, I can do the skip. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. Some of their green shell, then it hit the panel right as I sped into it. So that was kind of cool. Dude, why are these computers so good with their item placement? It's almost like they're sniping me. He could have gaslighted her, I guess. But you know, I'm not that easy. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank you for the Raiders, so I appreciate that, hon. Hey, Chatters, can we welcome in the Raiders? You can do Peace I2 Yo or Peace I2 Spin, hello, Raiders. Oh! God, fuck me. <laughs> I hate this. I hope you're doing well today, Essa. What even happened there? I didn't even know I could be airlifted there. Punch the raiders? No, we we peace I two vibe the raiders. Get back in first where I belong. Easy clap. <laughs> violence? No, I will never add give her violence. Like literally never. I know it's fairly normal to like rough house with your sibling, but I never did. I was never a little degenerate child. Oh my god. I hate this course. I, I think this is my least favorite course in the whole fucking game. What did I get on my- uh, the race before this? I got first, right? I got first. I can come back. My acceleration is amazing on this build. Please don't. I do not need a red chill right now. <laughs> All your siblings are above 30? Really? I'm the oldest, I'm 23. Dude, insane skip right there! Easy clap. Oh yeah, you talked about that before, Deacon. I mean, 83% doubt? Damn. I have a new bike build? No, I've had this build since, like, I think April now. I'm not changing my build. This build, I think, is the best. <clears throat> <laughs> Free points? <laughs> Honestly.
PC2 forgetful? What would, what would that emote even look like? We already have a PC2 bra. Oh, Wario? Okay, we'll do Wario next for you, Issa. I really want to know the parents' money story. But what if I'm just stalling Deacon to, like, fuck with you guys? It's kind of like, you ever see those clips where, like, hey, this is the story, and they open up with what the premise is, and then they take literally, like, ages to get to the fucking story? I'm just stalling. I'm literally stalling. I love this course in the Wii, but now I just hate this course. I don't know what happened. I think because there's just so many more better ones. Your stalling is nowhere near as bad as the Burger King taste test. True, literally true. Like, okay, you know the Burger King? I, okay. A little bit TMI. I had, like, literally the worst fucking farts and shits afterwards. It was bad. It was bad. I'm never having Burger King again. It was actually horrible. It is not worth. Oh! Oh wait, the banana got killed. By my other banana. Banana homicide. I wanna try and play Wii games for stream, but I don't know how to connect everything. Cause like, I looked everything up and you need like, a different board set, you need like, a specific things, and I'm just like, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. I think it's because you took off the tomato? No, that's literally not it. I feel like, every fast food gives me trouble, let's say, but Burger King is like, the worst one. That I've had. Like, the whole weekend, cause we did the taste test on Thursday, right? We did it on Thursday, like, I was having issues up until fucking Sunday. It was bad. Oh my god, they tried to snag me from behind, but they missed. Can we get it back? No, I'm gonna hold it, actually, I'm gonna hold. Never mind, I am not gonna do anything with that. Oh, we usually don't go on this path. I just realized. There we go, easy. Oh wait, that's only the third course? I thought we were in the final one already. Damn. <clears throat> okay, now I will finally tell the story of parents giving me money. I've stalled enough. I've stalled for what, 10 minutes? <laughs> I keep on thinking the Pikachu ear is part of my hair, but it's not. No, I've never played the Goosebumps game. I did read a lot of the Goosebumps books when I was younger. I didn't have too many of like the novelty games, like you know the games that are based off of books or movies? I think the only novelty game that I bought was a Pokemon one. And even the Pokemon is pretty mainstream anyway. I hate these goddamn computers! What is wrong with them? These are fucking regular computers! Why are they so cracked? Okay, I might have lost already. They both have red shells? Come on! I know it's fairly common for kids to have an allowance. Now, I didn't necessarily have an allowance, but I still had to do like chores and shit around the house. So that was kind of annoying. So, I even felt bad because like, growing up we didn't have a lot of spending money. Like, even for school supplies. <laughs> what is going on? Dude. 
Should we just do a no item run again? Like, honestly. If I had no items, I could fucking rush. Like, even buying, like, school supplies halfway through the year, I feel bad for doing, because, like, I, I feel bad, because, like, I knew we didn't have spending money for that. But I think the thing that bothered me the most was... I feel like it's standard when you're in elementary to have the scholastic um, book fair come to your school like twice a year. And I would remember like most of the books would be purchased and like you could borrow them from the school library soon. But like seeing all the little trinkets and doodads and like the bendy pencils, like I wanted them so bad. And like you would see all the other kids like have the trinkets like on their desk, but I never had that. And I always tell myself. I'm not gonna have kids until I can afford to give, like, buy them things. Like, I don't want my kid to ever feel like they're shamed for asking for school supplies, you know? You've never been made to do chores, you spoiled little shithead deacon. I'm not gonna have kids ever. Yeah, like, I've thought- we'll talk about this later, because that was another talking point I had later. The <laughs> Meglets? Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, Meglets, that sounds like a fucking cringe ass, um. What do you call it? <laughs> like a like a family YouTube channel? Like, that's what they would call the reason. Like, hey Meglets! <laughs> you got into trouble for spending all your money on non book stuff? It's so you were the problem then. You were literally the problem. <laughs> Mexico's? No. I have a joke, but we're not gonna say the joke. Okay, anybody wanna change back? Oh wait, fuck, it's a redeemed Wario, right? There we go. Could that be our fandom name? You guys wanna be called Meglets? It's like, oh, okay. It's like Piglets, and then people are gonna call me fat, so we're not doing Meglets. I just thought of that, so no. <laughs> Funny. Megan? Wait, Minions, Megans? No, that sounds weird. Mexicals? I feel like jokes can be made about popsicles, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Meg Megs? Okay, that's actually stupid. That That's the worst thing I've heard. Megators? Like debaters or alligators? Megators? Maybe, but hi, Ed. Welcome in. New Gamba's up. <laughs> Hey, Mexicals, we're now an hour in this dream. <laughs> Meg minions? But minions make you guys sound evil. And I don't want to be evil. Okay, I think it'd only be fair if I could call you guys minions if you actually do what I tell you to. Like, whenever I say, hey chat, I just posted a TikTok, go like and comment. You guys literally never do that. And it makes me sad. But if you guys want to be called Meg Minions, you have to listen to what I say. Megawatts? <laughs> that just reminds me of Matt Watson, I think. No. <laughs> yeah, ew. Ew, Deacon is kind of sus. Moderators, keep an eye on them. <laughs> you don't know what to comment? Um, I don't- yeah, I, I- I do find it- I think we talked about this last week, but even like in Twitch chat, I know some people were saying like they don't know what to talk about, and like, that's fine. I'm only- I'm trolling whenever you guys say go like and comment, I just want to see if anybody actually does it. Wait, isn't this video we're playing Mario on Wario Stadium? I didn't even notice that, guys. I had a banana. Megatrons? Hmm. Maybe. That one sounds like a bit too epic though. I want I want our name to be kind of cringe. No, I'm not a barb. Wait, is that bad if I'm not a barb? <laughs> Will people get mad if I'm not a barb? I fell off. I'm in fifth. I'm in fucking fifth. Nice try, Mario. Take my wretched. Uh -oh. 
I drifted the wrong way. Meg tagging it. <laughs> I think Megsters is kind of cute. I was gonna say something of the gremlin, but that sounds kind of actually mean. I was gonna say Megaphonics, but that's a chatter in Hassan's chat. <laughs> Megmaniacs? <laughs> I think Megmaniacs would be funny. <laughs> it's like, give me my little maniacs! Oh wait, but I feel like... I feel like I could get cancelled for that one. Like, you know how... It's insensitive to call people crazy. I think Maniac is kind of in that same realm. I don't know, it's it's hard to think of a good name. That's why we don't have one yet. Do Gamba's up, chatters. I think Megster sounds childish, and I know all of you guys are little zoomers, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Identify no such way. What what is technically a zoomer? Isn't it like like mid nineties and up? Cause that's Gen Z, right? <laughs> I'm totally not gonna clip you saying you're not a bard. Clip it and then cancel me, see what'll happen. What what's the worst that I get happen? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't don't seriously drama farm. <laughs> like it's fine if we goof and gap, but don't actually drama farm. <laughs> Cause like, I think, I've talked about this before, I think ultimately what I want to have, if I'm ever at a point where I could pay someone to be like a social media manager, I would love to have somebody like who's watching the stream either clip it and then somebody make like edits afterwards so we can post them to like Twitter and stuff. Cause like, I want to be active more on Twitter, but I don't know what to post. Cause like, I think Twitter on its own is kind of like just people speaking into an empty void. That's the kind of vibe I get. But if I can have like a meme account, I think that'd be cool. Also, what I'm trying to, like, talk my sister into is she wants to start making animatics. I think it'd be really cool if she made, like, animatics of, like, sound bits from stream. Because I see those, like, short videos all the time that are, like, 10 to 20 seconds long. That I think are, like, really cute and I would like it if she did that for me. Obviously, I would pay her. Like, obviously. But... Kind of have, like, a shorts page dedicated to just, like, animatics. I think that'd be cool to like invest time and money into if I ever have money to afford that. You'd get some clout. Yeah, but that'd be bad clout. Like, that's why like I'm indifferent about fandom culture. Like, I don't want chatters, I don't want anybody to blind blindly defend anything I say or do. I would only pay my sibling to keep quiet. <laughs> my sister, she pays me to do her chores. She gives me 50 bucks a week now. Because I do less chores now. That's a steal, yeah. I should charge her more, obviously, but you know, I- she gets the family discount. Yeah, I literally don't want to become a cult leader. Like, I understand it's very easy to get attached to people online concerning, like, creators, YouTubers, and streamers. Like, fandom culture is very prevalent in those spaces, but I don't want- that's why, like, I don't feel comfortable when people say they love me. I think that's kind of cringe. Like, I understand it comes from a place, place of, like, Oh, it's like a wholesome meaning, but I just don't like... To me, love is such a strong word. Like, if chatters say it, it's fine, but I usually don't acknowledge it directly, because it just makes me feel weird. 
Because, like, I know I don't use that word willy-nilly. Like, I only use it for a select group of people. Like, I grew up in a household where love wasn't said. So, I, I don't use that word, is basically what I'm saying. I understand that some people, that's how they show, like, that's how they show affection. But it, it's just not how I do it. But, yeah. Oh my god, you guys see that? I threw it and it landed right on Mario. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Bruh. See, if I became a cult leader, what would the benefit be? Like, I feel like most cult leaders will... Um, close your ears, little children. Well, like, fuck their members. And, like, I don't want that. That is wow. That's crazy. That's, like, crazy shit. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to bang anybody. I am an incel right now. <laughs> I am voluntary celibate. Roblox is literally a cult. Yeah, true. <laughs> but it's like a little children, so I think it's fine. Yeah, chatters, if I say anything funny or controversial, clip it during the live. And then... We still do the monthly best of compilations, so if it's a good enough clip, then I'll put it in our best of compilation. Maybe that's what we can do for the sub of them. Maybe we can edit the best of compilation and watch clips. I think that'd be a good segment, yeah? So I know we did that, I think, two months ago? <laughs> Literal pyramids game? <laughs> yeah, that's why, like... When I was little, I think the only mo online multiplayer game I played was... I think Pix Pixel Pixie Hollow on the Disney website. And it used to be free, but then there was a premium version, and then I never paid for it, so I just stopped playing the game. You spent uh, two hundred dollars of Apex. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like the only game that I've considered paying a premium for is Fall Guys, because I think the season pass is only seven bucks. So maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Hey, Chatters, we got one more race. You, wait, chatters. Does anybody know what time it is? Does anybody know what time it is? Chatters, we are nearly an hour to stream, so it is time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee today and get um ad viewing all month long. <laughs> um, <laughs> the chat. If we have any secret oilers, now is the time to give subs. Mid, yeah, I know it was mid. I wasn't hyping up for it. <laughs> um, but chatters, we'll see some of you guys in a few. After the break, we're gonna finish this last race. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe for just four ninety nine. <laughs> okay, let's do this last race. Hey, okay, chatters, new prediction is up. The last race of the spree. Oh, this one's a tricky one. Even normally, it's tricky. Path. I hate this way. This way is not faster at all. Yeah, I agree. The music on this track is pretty fucking good. Megalodons? Megalodons sounds scary, though. Like, I don't want you guys to be scary. I think Megachu was pretty cute. Cause that used to be my nickname when I was younger, Megachu. But there's too much like Pikachu. Cause like, you ever see the streamers who brand themselves around like imagery or iconography from a game? 
I think it's fine, but it's not the best branding technique. Like, you want to have something unique to you. And I feel like people who use, like, either game characters or, like, game-related aesthetics to their overlays or logo, like, that's not feasible for long-term. Because let's say you do pop off, you do grow, like, you're, you're gonna get, like, copyrighted. No, it's fine if you wear, like, a costume, but, like, the people who use, like, Pokemon stuff for their emotes or, like, their overlays, I'm kind of indifferent about. <laughs> like, I think the people who have, like, merchandise that has, like, let's see, an illustration of them next to Pokemon, I... I don't think I'd ever want to sell fan art. Because, like, selling fan art is, is, is at its core technically illegal because it's not your IP. You technically, you technically don't own the imagery of the characters, right? But usually companies, like the big pros, won't go after you because they understand it'll be a bad look, but... I've told myself, even when I was doing, like, prints and stuff on DeviantArt... I, Chatters, I have a DeviantArt. <laughs> it's bad, it's bad. Um... <laughs> I think my account is still active, but I, I literally never go on DeviantArt. But like, any- No way. No fucking way. Like, I think I posted some fan art, but I never- Cause like, you know how DeviantArt has the function to where you can automatically sell print through the website? Oh, I got second? Damn. <laughs> Yeah, Demon Art is scary. There's some very scary things sometimes. Like, I never went on the Explore tab on Demon Art. Another Go Trophy, guys! Mega Man's? That, that's too close to Mega Man, you go. It's literally adding an S to it. That's way too close. Okay, anybody want to change my character? <laughs> Meg Woman's. <laughs> oh! Chatters. <laughs> okay, I gotta put the timer on. Oh, wait, this is blocked. Wait, hold shatters. This looks like dog shit. <laughs> I'll fix it all later. There we go. Black Yoshi? Okay, thank you for redeeming Crystal, I appreciate that. <laughs> okay guys, we got four prees left. Now I can talk whatever about whatever I want. Dude, I think this is one of the worst pre's in the game. I hate this pre. Yeah, so chatters, emote spam as much as you want. Get all those little urges out now. pretty good that time. Surprisingly. I usually struggle with that. Like, maybe it's Miramo that's giving me luck. Oh, I didn't know I could trick at the end there. I tried to 
dodge it. <laughs> Whenever I see that number one emote, I keep on thinking it's D-E-O, like, you know, Bruce drop them off. But it's not his emote, but it literally is the same font and the same color. And it throws me off every time. Okay, that- those first two laps went for nearly three minutes. It, it's crazy how fucking slow 150cc is. I mean, it's just because I'm so used to playing 200. of the day, Deacon is going to lead to this whole philosophical debate. Or not debate, but conversation. Like, I'm going to need a bit to ponder on that one. Oh, nothing to save me, nothing to save me! Dude, no way, they have a boost. <gasps> no! Wait, I didn't even do a prediction, Lamau. <laughs> Oopsie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Moderators, nobody told me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to do a prediction. <laughs> okay, let's do a prediction for this round. I'm sorry, chatters. Doubters would have eaten good that round. Okay, predictions up, Gugamba. <laughs> Oopsie. Dude, how can we already have a hundred points in doubt? That's kind of mean. I was pretty close that last race. Wait, how'd you get no items? I'm breaking way too much. That's my problem. Just to fuck with me. Now you guys can shit on me. Dude, I cannot believe this. <laughs> Give him Crystal Lamo. You fucked up. <laughs> no! Oh my intent place, oh my intent place. Guys, I think my control is broken. Like, seriously, I think it's broken. I'm not capping. Okay, this is gonna be the greatest comeback of all time, okay? Get ready. Okay, ignore that part, that's not it. Not having it. Okay, actually? Kind of insane? God damn it, I was so close! I almost came back from that. Guys, we might need to do this pre again. Because that, that's our second second. That's not good. I... Oh, wait. Even if I get... I think I have to get first for the next two. Hmm. 
I don't know. Oh no. Yeah, I can't refund your points, Crystal. I'm sorry, hun. I think I can get gold if I get first twice, because then Bowser would get second twice. So we would be tied for first, so I technically would still get first place overall. So I just literally, I need to clutch right here. Okay, I need to actually look at my talking points that I had today. <laughs> I need to stop dilly-dallying. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Also, keep in mind, Wolf, you might have a delay in the chat room as well because I have... I have a mode where chatters can't see messages for, I think, like six seconds before it's on screen. That way moderators can catch it, so that could be a part of the reason why you're seeing delay in the chat room as well, so just keep that in mind. You're doing amazing like Pro Megan here. Dude, you literally doubted this round. I can see the icon where it says you're doubting. And you're literally gaslighting right now. Oh! God damn it. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, let's actually start what I'm talking about, what I want to talk about. Um... So I think it's really common to be nice to your neighbors. You know, whenever you see them, when you take out the trash or grab your mail, you see hi, how you doing? And the other day, I think this is the silliest interaction I've had. Um, the, my, one of my neighbors, she's older. She walks her dog just about every evening as I'm watering the garden. So she'll like, if she walks past the house, like I'll talk to her for a little bit. But this time she was across the street. We, we, we made eye contact. Whenever there's somebody across the street, I try my best not to look at them because, you know, it's awkward, like, yelling at them from across the street. So we made eye contact accidentally. It's like, oh, hi, how you doing today? She's like, oh, I'm doing great. And literally, like, five minutes before, I had, like, dropped the hose and I sprayed water all over myself. So I was like, yeah, I'm doing great, but, you know, I'm drenched. I spilled, I dropped the hose and it got all over me. And she's like, oh, that's great, honey. <laughs> and she just keeps walking. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I mean, like the default response, is like, oh yeah, that's great. And it's just funny that she just didn't register that what happened to me was most likely a bad thing. <laughs> like, I think a good response she could have done was like, oh, you know, you're cooled off now, right? Haha. -ha. You know, it's blazing hot outside, but <laughs> it was just so funny to me. It was good. Oh my god, that was way too close. Did I say moist? Did I actually say the word? Hey, chatters, look, I got first. Oh wait, Bowser and I are not tied. I'm back in first, guys. I think we can still clutch this gold trophy, actually. Was it the possum lady? Yes! It was the same lady, actually. Because she was walking the same dog. It was the same lady. Honestly, she's kind of kooky. <laughs> Oh, I have to turn the overlay off. Hey there, Graf. Gamba, go prediction is up! I said, Gamba, go prediction is up. Okay, I think I got this one in the bag. I love this track so much. Except for this part! To... <laughs> Deacon, I think if you have to open a message with not the trauma dump, then maybe don't say it. <laughs> like, honestly. I mean, that's nothing too crazy what you said, but still, like, kind of icky. I almost had it! I almost had it! <laughs> Come on! Oh, dude. Today... I, I feel like it's common courtesy 
whenever you're coming into someone's bedroom, you knock first, wait for their acknowledgement, and then you go in the room. Like, that's what I do. I feel like my parents don't ever do that, which is fine. You know, they're older. I don't give a shit. That's just how they are. You know, it, it just shows they lack respect, which is whatever. It's fine. But my sister and I, we're like, we understand that our room is our safe place. So, like, whenever we want to talk to each other, we'll knock, wait for the other sibling to like, respond, and then we go in the room. But this morning, my sister, she knocks on my door at 5.30 a.m. Because she leaves for work early, right? And I'm still sleeping. So she knocks on my room. I don't acknowledge it because she literally is waking me up way too early. And she's like, hey, Megan, you forgot to give me the snack you said you are going to give me because I have, like, a snack drawer in my room. And she's like, you didn't give me the snack. I need to get it. I'm like, no, it is literally 5 a.m. You cannot be barging in my room. So I don't let her in. And then she just walks in my room. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, seriously. It's way too early to be for you to be bothering me right now. Cause like I have these like protein bars that I was gonna give her, but cause like I shouldn't be eating protein bars. <laughs> but it just ruined my mood for the whole day. Cause like I couldn't go back to sleep until like seven, and then I woke back up at seven thirty. I was like, I'm gonna yell at her when she gets home. I was like, don't do that fucking shit again. And then I'll like take the switch away from her. <laughs> Never break a promise. What promise did I break? Huh? It wasn't me. She was the one who fucking barged in my room. Unannounced, mind you. I want to see Megan play the mimic? <laughs> I'm not ever gonna play Roblox Chatters. That's gonna be a big sub goal stream. We're not doing Roblox willy nilly. <laughs> I find it funny when people say not to be rude or anything. Yeah, it's obviously a tell that it's gonna be like the worst thing. How many subs? Um, what is our current sub goal is that chatters? I think Roblox is I think adequate for maybe 500 subs Wait, we had no doubters that time damn I think 500 is a good goal Look at that, another gold trophy, guys. I think we have yet to not get a gold. So I'm fucking crushing today. Toadette? Nice. We'll do Toadette next for you, Lemon. <clears throat> I think 150 subs is Fortnite, though. Like, uh, chatters, the sub goal list is in my about tab. Oh, Toto's over here. There we go. We got three more priests left. I think we can crank these all out today. Megan Fortnite dance win. I'm not ever gonna dance, because I'm never gonna show my full body on stream. Never ever. Also, my camera isn't big enough. Like, the, the lens isn't wide enough. I don't have a wide angle lens. <laughs> I've thought, because like I do have a personal account on TikTok that I don't have any posts on. Like, I want to use it more. Chatters, if you want to find it, it's just at peace and 17 no underscore. But I don't know what I want to post on it. Because like I don't want it to be cringe shit. Like, I'm not going to be doing the filter trends. <gasps> Dude, I hate these word I hate these computers. They're literally the they're literally way too good. Post yourself singing WAP. So chat, if you do go to that account, you will see that there's no videos, but I do have a handful of likes. It's because I used to post me singing on it. Granted, they were fucking cringe as all hell. And they were only from a year ago, and they're so bad. <laughs> um, but I think I want to post like monologues. Or like written poetry, I think that'd be interesting. Like it's definitely like way too artsy, but I feel like it would be a good creative outlet for me. But I don't know. I, I need to focus on stream stuff for now, then I can invest more time into other creative endeavors. <laughs> what if I just had a mukbang account? I think that would go crazy. Like honestly.
I think having a segment on stream where I taste test like new foods, I think would be an interesting segment. Like you know how we did Burger King and then Crumble for the first time? I think that'd be a, a thing to do, a fun thing to do occasionally. But not all the time, because you know I can't be eating junk food all the time. There we go, easy. First race in the bag. He knew Gamba's up. Is it bad who I don't know who Mitski is? Is that bad? Another clip to post? Uh oh. Uh oh. Guys, I'm not- I'm not part of normie culture. I spent all my time online. I don't listen to mainstream artists. Yeah, I don't know music. I literally don't. Like, I have the same albums that I play on repeat every day. I don't go in the explore tab too often. You're asking to you get dragged in the fiery pits of hell. Well, I'm not asking for it. You guys are the ones baiting me to, into responses, so I think you guys- I think chat is drama farming right now. Hi Bobby, welcome to stream. But it's not me, I'm not intentionally talking about people I don't like, and I'm not- oh, wait, that I don't know, and I'm, I'm not saying I don't like them, I just don't know them. I'm just like, so-and-so who megalol? It ain't me farming this time, true. The one time Titans is not farming. <laughs> no, I didn't say that I didn't like Nicki Minaj. I just don't listen to her stuff. I only know the mainstream songs. Chatters, chatters, calm down. You can just call me uncultured, that's it. That's like the most you can do. Banana in first, that's rare. There we go. Easy clap. <laughs> when she's anti mainstream? See, like, I'm not hipster, it's, but I, because, like, I don't like niche stuff. I'm just not, I don't listen to the radio. Like, I just listen to my music. Get you out of new Gambas up, go Gamba. Bye, Crystal. We'll see you next time, hon. Enjoyed hanging out with you today. I feel like nobody listens to the radio anymore. I used to be like really big on the radio up until like high school. Because we would listen to the radio every morning on the drive to school. But then once I hit like high school, like I started walking and then biking to school, so I just never listened to the radio in the car anymore. But I feel like every song that's popular on the radio is has gotten popular on TikTok first. Because I usually listen to the same songs, like the same albums, just about every day. Like, I have a downloaded, I guess, library. Because I use YouTube Music, I don't have Spotify, it's, it's included in my YouTube Premium, that's just how it is, I don't have Spotify. I, I don't like the UI of Spotify either. But I've been trying to go into, like, the Discover tab of YouTube a bit more, and I think the way it sees me is, like, I like alternative, I like some rap, but not a lot. I definitely like pop a lot, but it's giving me a bit more like R&B stuff, so I think that's my, I guess, ideal genre. 
But I'll listen to songs in the recommended, and I'm like, just like, hey, I've heard that on TikTok. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> but I think we used to have, like, a boombox in my room. But then I got rid of it because I stopped listening to the radio, right? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm missing literally all the ramps. <laughs> oh, saved. <gasps> Come on. There we go. Easy. That's another W, guys. No doubters. Let's go. I think it's funny how chatters will say it. Oh, I'm gonna clip the VOD, but do you actually? <laughs> Are you gapping? Oh, I think this... This is another track I freaking hate. It's just not fun. Easy. Got him. <gasps> it makes me so anxious having to dodge the guards. Is it actually off? Shatters, is it just Deacon or are they trolling? <gasps> Dodge the banana. Another one? Somebody's trolling. Okay, I ran into it. I know with my capture card, there's always gonna be a slight, like, half second delay with the sound. So that's always gonna be an issue. So if it keeps persisting, you might have to close Twitch entirely and then reopen it. <gasps> oh, come on! Come on! I cannot throw right here. Yeah, either Deacon is trolling. Or you just need to get a better laptop, Ben. Oh! Shit! I thought I was going for the ramp! I thought I was going for the ramp! Easy. Yeah, it should be synced. It looks synced on my end. Man, we had a... Majority doubters that time? Really? You guys are cringe. Hi, Deggier. Welcome to stream. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. I'm cringe. <laughs> I think everybody... Uh, everybody who uses Twitch to an extent is cringe. Because, like, I feel like Twitch is... Far from a normie platform. Like, even though. Ooh! Ooh, I got a new vehicle customization. Let's go!
Oh, new cutscene? Okay, why is the quality dog shit? Is this actually unskippable? I'm pressing A, I'm pressing A. I'm pressing X, B, Y. Plus, okay, literally unskippable cutscene chatters. Why, why do they make it unskippable? I don't... Why, why? God damn. Okay, well the music is nice. While we're waiting, should I run an ad? <laughs> it lasts like two minutes? Oh. Dude, why do they do this to me? Run an ad, Corpo. <laughs> That'd be mean. But also profitable. <laughs> Okay, this remix does sound kind of nice, though. So, like, we used to have a Channel Point Redemption to where I would run an ad, but what happened, the reason why I disabled it is because you can only run an ad every, I think, five or ten minutes, so it would, like, it would mess with my pre-rolls and shit, so... That's why I disabled it. Haruki <laughs> Tojo. Run 17 ads, it will be done by the time it's finished. True. True. See, like, what about the people who are speedrunning? Do they have to watch these cutscenes? And close and open the game? Oh, true. True. Dude, I love the trumpet so much. It's so good. I'm a sucker for anything trumpet. Like, I was listening to this one playlist that has all these 2000 songs in it. Like, songs from the 2000s, and so many of them had trumpets in them. I think that's why I subconsciously like the sound of trumpets. You accidentally streamed! Oh no! Uh oh, Deacon. Uh oh, oh no. Was it like your gameplay or did you have face cam on? <laughs> I don't think I've ever accidentally gone live. <laughs> Deacon's streaming debut. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've ever accidentally gone live. Because the way that I have it set up is. I click start stream and then I have to click go live, so it's a two it's a two button setup, so I have to like royally fuck up if I accidentally go live. Well that's a cool shot. Yay! People clap, yay! No wait, Deacon you stream! <laughs> oh! Wait, these are new? Why is the loading screen different? Well, that's cool. It was me screaming no, no words. <laughs> okay, well, we got two more priests to do chatters. Anybody else want to change my character? Anybody want to change it? We got two more priests, dude. We're gonna do the DLC ones. If 
nobody picks, I'm gonna do Golden Peach. Okay, done. Let's go. Ooh. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. I don't think the acceleration is what I want, though. Yeah, acceleration dog shit. Acceleration dog shit. We're not- we're not changing the build. We're not doing that. Choose your character? Um... Do Luigi, cause they're a loser. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey chatters, prediction is Uncle Gamba. I'm looking at my list of topics to talk about, and literally half of them is me complaining about my sister. <laughs> I think because, like, another thing that happened over the weekend is... I feel like it's common practice to where if you buy food, you buy food for, like, either everyone in the house or whoever's home at the time, right? So the other day, my parents went out to dinner, so we had to make dinner on our own, but I didn't feel like cooking. So... I was like, hey... If you were gonna get food, please tell me. And she's like, okay. So I go and make myself a snack, and then I see that she ordered McDonald's because as I'm prepping my snack, like we get a delivery, right? And I'm like, what? So I asked her, I was like, did you really order McDonald's without me when you know McDonald's is my favorite? And she's like, well, you said you were getting a snack. And I was like, yeah, but not fucking dinner. So she literally just ordered a fish fillet and then fries, a small fry. She paid like $25, tip included, mind you. But it's just like, dude, really? <laughs> like, she paid $25 for a fish fillet and a small fry. She's crazy. Cause like, whenever I order delivery, I always try to order like food for the for the same day and then the next day. Cause like, if you're gonna pay like a delivery fee, a tip, like, so you might you might you might as well get food for the next day, you know? Get it all on one trip. But, I was so bad at her. <laughs> Cause like, and she's sitting there like, in the dining room, eating her fucking fish fillet and fries, as I'm eating my like, little apple for my snack, and I'm like, bruh, you are so evil. <laughs> Cause like, the thing that irks me the most is like, whenever I go out, or like, I get food, I always bring something home for her, like, cause I'm, I'm a good sister, right? But, I, I guess I'm just salty. Your sister drama farming? Yeah, literally, she's literally drama farming. I think it's because she she just fails to realize that she's not selfish, but she tends to forget about other people. Cause she she's a little bit dense, let's say. So she just forgot that it's like the nice thing to order or get food for other people. I don't know. <laughs> okay, what did I got I got first easy cloth. The mirror mode on that trap was fucking weird. I did not like it. I didn't like the mirror mode at all. It threw me off a lot. Oh, prediction! You know Gamba's up, go Gamba! You never get other people food? Why not? But it's a nice thing to do! Like, do you think it's a power move to, like, sit and eat, eat your food and then watch everybody else, like, suffer? I think that's kind of mead. Oh, okay, Deacon. I see how it is. 
Well, neither my sister and I can drive, so... I feel like any time I do go out, I, I have to get her something. Because we don't go out very often. I love Big Toad. It, it's, it's an air balloon, it's not actually Toad. It's like the reverse of Honey, We Shrunk the Kids. Oh, come on! The blue shell, I wish the lightning bolt would have overlapped. Okay, actually, bad move by your brother. I would not like him for that either. So valid, valid. I don't think I've broken anything that wasn't mine. Wait, there was one time. <laughs> Um, I accidentally um, pulled on a curtain rod too hard and I, I pulled the, the scaffolding off the wall by accident because I was tugging on the curtain. So that was the one time I did break something. But otherwise, I don't break shit. Why would you tell me he's a balloon? I'm sad now. Well, okay, you can't be living in that delusion forever, Lemon, so... I had to tell you, I had to be straight with you, you know? <clears throat> hey, Chatters, go Gamba! long time since I've been to a parade in person. Like, I think about it, I've never been to, like, those big parades, you know, with, like, the blow-up balloon characters and stuff. Like, the only parade I've gone to is, like, the local ones in town, where it's just, like, a rinky-dink one, where you got, like, the high school band, and, like, the gymnastics team, or the dance team, like, performing. I think it's because I've never liked big crowds. And also, like, lugging all of your things to the parade, like, your cooler, your chairs, it's just a hassle. And I feel like the crowds during a parade are way too close together, too. Like, a few weekends ago, I went to the farmer's market, and it was, like, packed. It was very busy. And I was still getting anxious about it. Like, even pre-pandemic, I've been scared of big crowds or mass gatherings. Because, like, I'm very much happier watching, like, the Thanksgiving parade on TV. Because, you know, they're actually going to get the good angles and nice shots. But in person, if you're, like, sitting there, like, on the road, you probably can't see stuff because it's way too close to you. Hey, guys, I am actually doing great on this race. I'm usually dog shit at this track, but... I'm crushing right now. Is the Burger King still in my mind? No. I will be honest, I ate everything except for the chicken fries. Because those did not keep well on the fridge. So I, I, I threw them away, nobody else in the house wanted them, so sad. Oh, come on, no way! Yes, Deacon, this is mirror mode, it's literally in the title. <laughs> Your cousin got to walk a baby bison down in a parade? Okay, that's actually cute. That's adorable. It doesn't look like it? Well, it is mirror mode. Hey, chat, new predictions of Kogamba.
No way! I thought I got him! Okay. <laughs> I know there's a skip you can go where you can go like partially through the parking lot with the parachute, but I never go for it. I don't know the line yet. Like I'm trying to practice it offline, but I'm still not good at it. The Mario hit a tree. bottom path is better. Because usually parachutes add time unnecessarily to your run. They think they can get me? Not today! Easy. Guys, look, that's a three-star gold trophy. Why'd you put a hyphen at the end of your message, Wolf? It's like you're cracked, but... Oh, it's another one! Is it gonna be a different one every time? Oh, this is actually cool. Okay, one more pre, guys. One more pre, then we have all... Gold trophies. Okay, anybody wanna change my character? Hi, Pierce. Welcome to stream. If you have any preferred names or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Anybody want to choose my character? If not, we'll do Link. I haven't played Link in a long time. Okay, we're doing Link. Oh, wait, too late. <laughs> okay, let's switch to Wendy. Thank you for redeeming Wolf. Ooh, I love her bangles. I don't think I've ever played Wendy. You're Q? Okay, we'll go by Q. I know you're quoting Wendy Williams, <laughs> Deacon. She's got some really crazy quotes, and they are so good. I knew it was gonna happen, I knew it was gonna hit. Yoshi. Oh, I wanted to get him. That would have been cool.
Dude, I want to travel again. Like, whenever I can save up the money to. Like, once I start working, I definitely want to travel again. Especially when I'm still younger. But I was thinking about it the other day. Like, you know how TSA will just randomly lose your luggage? Like, that is genuinely so scary to me. I was talking about it with my sister last night. But, like, imagine you pack all of your, like, technology or your equipment. And they just lose your luggage. That, that to me is crazy. Like, I was thinking about it, like... Maybe I can just bring, like, additional carry-ons. But, like, imagine you, like, buy all these souvenirs, all this stuff to bring home, and they just lose it. It, it just seems, like, literally the worst. Like, I understand how it happens. Like, it doesn't happen often when it does. Like, they obviously drop the ball, right? But it just feels, like, horrible. Ugh. Yeah, I know especially now more people are traveling and also there's like extreme labor shortages due to pandemic as well. And it's just like... Uh, it just seems way too stressful to travel right now. Because my grandma, she usually goes with us on an annual trip. Well, like, with my parents, not with me. But they haven't gone for the past few years because of pandemic. And they were gonna go this year, but they decided to wait till next year because this year is probably too hectic to travel. And she's way too old to, like, handle all that shit. Hold. 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 Okay, predictions up. Go Gabba. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I usually do the predictions because, um... Whoever runs the prediction is not allowed to gamba, so for example, if my moderators want to gamba and they make it, they're not allowed to gamba. So that that's where I that's why I choose to do all the predictions. See, I don't think I could ever travel on my own. Like it seems so scary, like especially in a foreign place. Like it's different if you know the language, because then you can communicate, but if you're by yourself in a place where you don't know the native language, it, it just seems so scary to me. Like, I'd be so scared that I'd be kidnapped or some shit. Because, like, my... I think one of my biggest downfalls is that I'm overly trusting. But I'm also, like, overly cautious whenever I'm out and about. Like, I'm super... I'm hyper aware of everything that's going on. And, like, the weird thing about cruises is that since they're, like... On seas, the rules and laws are different. Like, the laws have to follow whatever country it's traveling through, or, like, whoever has jurisdiction over the, the water it's on. So if any, like, crime happens, that country's government has to handle it. So, it, it's weird to me, like, the legislation concerning cruise ships and such. Because I think I've been on one cruise, but I went on it when I was, like, 12. So when you're a kid, you don't worry about that shit, right? But as an adult, I, I don't think I can ever do it. <laughs> I mean, honestly... When I did go on the cruise, because like when I was, I was a kid, right? Like the funnest part was like the daycare, because they actually had like activities lined up for the kids. Like the actual destination, it was fine, but I think because I was younger, I didn't appreciate it as much. Because I think it was a cruise to like Alaska and Canada. Like the scenery was nice, but I didn't appreciate it as much. Okay, it's another easy dub. Surprisingly, I got a first. That's like my worst track in the game. Or not my worst, but it's definitely a tough one. I think another anxiety that I have... Because, like, I understand that... Planes are fairly safe. Like, there's a lot less plane crashes when compared to vehicle crashes. But with a boat, if the boat sinks, you're fucked. Like, you're actually fucked. So whenever I 
Whenever I whenever I, I do go on trips in the future, I just have to not think about that. Because <laughs> I think with my type of anxiety, I tend to hyper focus and spiral on things. So, like if I just don't think about it, it's fine. I know it's not necessarily the most helpful thing, but I've explained this concept before. But when you try and focus on an irrational thought in this context, like. If you're on a cruise ship and you can, all you can think about is the ship sinking, that's a, like the probability of that happening is very rare. It's not likely to happen. So at its core, it's an irrational thought to like hyper focus on. Like you should probably be more concerned about your drink spilling from your cup because the boat is rocking. Like that probably should be a bigger concern. <laughs> Like, I'm not necessarily scared of being inside a car. Like, I don't drive, I'm only, like, the passenger, right? But car accidents are so common, it's hard for me to not focus on it, you know? Like, chatters, can I get some drinks and chat for myself? I finally applied for my learner's permit. We're gonna go fill out the paperwork this week. So let's go. Because, like, I, it's, like, a necessary evil. Like, I need to learn how to drive. Like, in order to be more independent, I need to do it, but... Hopefully I'll have my license, maybe by fall, or either by fall or mid-fall. Cause like as long as I have my license, I can always get a vehicle at a later time. So that's just something I need to do, and we're gonna do it. And by we, I mean me. Oh, Daisy thought you could snipe me. Nice try, little bitch. Banana almost got me at the end. <laughs> oh wait, I got second. Damn. Okay, we'll see you next time, Wolf. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, hon. I appreciate you hanging out with us today. Okay, Chatters, this is going to be our last race of the day. So our last prediction of the day. Okay, go Gamba. Yeah, I've never even sat behind a wheel. Like, I've never even practiced or anything. Oh, this is mirror mode. I do not like mirror mode for this track at all. I fell off the easier path! Oh, wrong way? Oh no, oh, come on! Yeah, I agree, it's probably best for me to get my license. It's been... way too long. I should have got it years ago, but... We just couldn't- we couldn't afford the driver's ed classes when I was a teenager. And then at that point, I was just too anxious. But I've come to a point where, like, I need to learn how to face my fears, and I will get over it. And I know if I finally start driving, I'll be able to become more independent. So it, it will improve my quality of life. That, that's, trying to, that's kind of the way I'm trying to see it. That, that's, that's what I tell myself whenever I get anxious thinking about it. Because, like, I applied for it on, I think, Saturday, so, like, the offices were closed because it's the weekend. So I couldn't, like, call an associate. Because, like, the website was fucking confusing to navigate. So hopefully I did everything right, but... <laughs> oh, I fell up. Dude, I don't understand why computers will throw red shells behind them. Like, it defeats the whole point of auto-targeting. <gasps> oh, dude! They keep on throwing shells behind them, but they're so mean! Okay, I literally should not have boosted. I forgot. <laughs> This is me. 
scare mode. I went the other way. Come on. Okay, I'm so close. I'm right here. Okay, I'm not gonna trick off of these. It's not worth. There we go. Thank God. Oh, that one was close. That was way too close. I think Ninja Hideaway is definitely one of my more difficult tracks. I think it's because it's inside a building, so you can't see like what's ahead of you. It's very difficult. Do I like Luigi Circuit? Yeah, that was one of my favorites on the Wii. I like the simple tracks. <gasps> oh, look at that! Oh, it's actually so cool. The chatters, I think. That concludes Mario Kart. We got all gold trophies in 150 mirror modes. We got them all. All DLC trophies as well. So. Close the game, reopen it. Well, we'll do that in a second. Um, so chatters. We are another hour into stream. We're a little bit late, but you know, we're another hour in. So it is time for me to run. A few minutes of that. Take it away the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad viewing all month long. We're gonna go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. So, it's more just chatting vibes. I have more time to give attention to the chat, so stick around, stick around. So get a water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. One out of ten? Okay. Okay, dude. Okay, let's see if we got that Luigi card scene. Or not cutscene, rather, but... Whoa! We got Bowser card, I guess. Okay, let's see if we have anything else. Here we go. Oh, we got Rosalina. Okay, Rosalina is one of my faves, honestly. Let's see who else they have. We're just stalling right now. <laughs> Luigi card A. Oh, there it is. We got it. No, I know what Stranger Things is, it's not- it's like, eh. I got bored of it. I haven't watched the new seasons, though. Mario Kart! Hey! Ah, that's lame. That's normie shit. Are there any more cutscenes? We'll- we'll do one more time, one more time. Wait, did I- is that all the easter eggs? Do they never come up again? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got Link that time. Okay, so I guess it's random then. Okay, well, that's fine, that's fine. So chatters, we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to and crossing, so I gotta change out the cartridge, so give me a second. I also need to fill my water cup, too.
I'm trying to think of what we should title this. <laughs> the aftermath of the biggest cooking event. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, I think that's funny. I think that's funny. <laughs> the aftermath of the biggest cooking event <sighs> okay chat i'm gonna go fill my water so i'll be right back so pull pull the line nobody peace i too smile when i'm gone Mosh pit time. <laughs> Dude, I need to get new frames. These frames are a bit too stretched out. Even when I try and tighten like the bolts, it's still a bit too loose. Wait, chatters, I forgot. I forgot. I gotta post a TikTok. <laughs> Wait, hold chatters. I should have done this earlier. I'm sorry. I forgot. Hey chatters, if you like the stream, you should go check out my TikTok. We're posting a new one right now. So go like it. Go leave a comment. What's your question? Don't bait. Just ask. Okay. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 102 p.m. on Tuesday, July 19th, 22, or 2022. <laughs> oh, I just heard that CJ is visiting Timbaland today. It sounds like he's just here to relax, but I know he's always interested in buying fish if you have any to sell. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. What does backseating mean? Backseating basically means telling somebody how to play the game. It's kind of like if a chatter is like, um, actually, you're playing Mario Kart totally wrong. You need to drift this step away and use this bike build. I mean, it's telling the person how to play and it's annoying as all fuck. That's why I have no backseating tag. TBH. If you backseat, it will actually annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> but chatters, that new TikTok is uploaded. Go like it, go leave a comment. So we still have our fit on from the cooking stream. I was able to clean up a little bit. We need to decide what we're going to put here now. Because I think now that the event stream is over, I think I want to actually start decorating. I think what we'll do for future events, this section will be reserved for, I guess, the event area. I think that's what we'll do. But okay, looks like we have a lot to do. We gotta 
We gotta clean up a bit, we gotta harvest our trees, but let's see if we can buy a new fix. I'm still wearing my chef outfit. I saw the bunny ears and the bunny nose. Oh wait, this tank top is kind of cool. I don't need it, it's a bit too edgy. What is this t-shirt? What is this even? Oh, okay. Hey, this dress is ugly. I don't- I don't like it. Should we do a bunny fit today? I don't like the- no, I'm not, I'm- we're not doing the mouth. We're not doing the nose. Okay, I think I want to do a bunny fit today. I'm a sucker for bunny ears. Okay, we gotta go back and change, actually. The t-shirt was 2012 Lady Gaga. You know how, like, kids have those sequin shirts that you can, like, go up and down on? I never understood it. I, I never liked the texture of, like, sequin pillows or anything, too. Like, I know the sequin pillows are decorative, but I never liked it. If you're making a Sonic joke, then yes. I think it is canon that they are related. <laughs> okay, let's put a really degen fit on today. I haven't worn the main fit in a while. Wait, I don't have the small one? Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Oh, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Do I have white pumps? Or oh, they're cream. I do not like that. Okay, that's our fit for today. <laughs> Dude, I'm such a degen. Okay, we have a lot to do today. You know, we're gonna made for now, we're gonna clean up our island. Yeah, we, we gotta put everything away from Sunday. Cause I, I, I think I'm gonna start decorating offline. I need to think about what I wanna do still. It's giving made. Yeah, that's literally the look I'm going for. The, the maid look. My favorite look, okay? To make a love heart pod? Ooh. We can make it like the little mermaid scene. I think that would actually be cute. Somebody write that down. That's a good idea. What if- I was gonna say, what if the theme is like, honeymoon getaway, but I feel like <laughs> that's a bit too cringe. <laughs> like, we could put like all these cutesy like pink decorations everywhere. 
I think that could be a theme. <laughs> Honestly, I think the cooking stream or the Animal Crossing cooking event presented by Meg Esports was one of my favorite streams I've done in a while. We've talked about it before, but the reason why I don't do playing with viewer streams all the time is because I want to make the once a month one special. And I think Sunday's stream is really good. Like, I was thinking about it all day after, too. Oh yeah, I also hid bags of flour and sugar around the island that not many people found. So we need, to, we need to go pick those up too. Like, I'm surprised nobody else explored that far. I think I want to do a fishing competition for next month. Like, I think we can supply everybody infinite nets and then I can just collect bait. And then also people participating can also collect bait as well. And then maybe we can have people try and find specific fish. Or we could do... Like a timed race. And then each type of fish would be worth like X amount of points. So let's say for example a bass is worth 2. And then a more rare fish is worth 5. So whoever gets more points. I think that'd be an interesting format. Yeah, I think a fishing one would be the next easiest competition to do. Because I feel like it would be easier to structure than like a decorating or a costume competition. Because I don't necessarily want people voting for people. Because like with voting competitions, I feel like people, their feelings would get hurt. So that's something I need to keep in mind. And like with a competition to me, I know for me personally, I don't get upset if I lose at a challenge. Because I'm like, it was my own fault, it was my skill that I lacked, that's why I lost. But with voting competitions, I understand that we are very small still, but at its core it's like popularity, right? Feels like a sandbox game, but you have to be social. Yeah, I don't like talking to the neighbors. Like, it's kind of cringe, like, they always have the same dialogue. Like, I feel like they repeat the dialogue after X amount of cutscenes. Which is fine, because like I don't think they want to make an AI to have like infinite conversation topics, right? But I know when I first played the game when it came out, like I got bored talking to the characters. Even now, I only talk to the characters when they have like the exclamation point, or when I need like a DIY recipe or something. Okay, well you enjoy the rest of your night, Deacon. Enjoyed hanging out with you today. We'll see you next time, hun. Okay, I forgot that I need to have axes. <laughs> yeah, because if we could- so if we're gonna do fishing, we could have like a massive pond here. And then- or I can like artificially make like two like smaller ponds. That way people can easily get pond fish. Let's hope you don't spend your points on what though? Cause like nothing is too expensive. I think the most expensive thing is the Twitter draft, right? Or is, that's what you're saving for, yeah, Issa? Dude, imagine we have a fishing competition on the day CJ is here. Wait, I don't think that could happen, because I think we're only going to do the Animal Crossing streams on the weekends. Because I don't want it to take a weekday slot. So no, more people are available on the weekends. You saving for the Twitter draft? Uh-oh. Only five more K is, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I have any crazy drafts right now. I think I posted the craziest ones already.
Do I time travel? No, I don't time travel in the game. I've only time traveled once, and it was when I missed the bug, the bug tourney. There's a bug tourney on this Saturday. Chatters, do you guys want to see the bug tourney on stream? Because I think the bug tourney is like the most mid event in the game. Tbh. But the only time I time traveled was when I um I did the wait hold. Is where I did the bug event, but then I forgot to claim my prizes. <gasps> uh oh. Hello. Hey Megan, there's something I wanted to bug you about if you got a sec. I love it here, but I also want to check out other islands. I'm thinking about moving. Thoughts? Okay, chat. You guys know the rules. Anytime somebody wants to leave, we do a vote. But keep in mind... If we let them go, then we will do a hunting for Aurora stream. If we hit our sub goal. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna change. So let's do a, a quick poll. Let them go. Yes. Or no. So, gentle minded chatters, we're gonna have the poll open for two minutes. If we let them go. Then we can do a sub-goal Aurora hunting stream on Thursday. Or we can let them stay. So chatters, Pokemon, go to the polls. Go vote. Chatters, go vote. We got a few minutes. We got to stall. Right now, we got two votes for yes. And if- I'll change the sub-goal to 65. I'll change it to 65. Hi, Nix. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Right now we get 100% for let Flo go. Just gotta let her flow. <laughs> okay, we got one minute left. Everybody wants them gone. I don't know. Some, some people will stall and wait to the last minute for the poll. So, we'll see. I know I like to do that. I like to see the votes flip at the end. Because I think it's funny. But it's also like degen behavior. <laughs> so like I said, Chatters, if we let Flo go, then we can do a bonus Aurora Hunting stream if we hit our sub goal of 65 today. Because if we do that, then it'll be a longer stream. It'll be like a four or five hour stream. Unless we find her right away, then it'll be short. But, but we've done two hunting streams of no luck. I think I've spent like 10 hours on stream searching and then another like 10 offline and we have no luck with finding her. The chatters, you got like 10 seconds left. Go vote, go vote. Pokemon, go to the polls, go vote. Any last minute voters? <laughs> Okay, Chad has decided we're gonna let Flo go. We're gonna let her go. It's okay. I get it. <laughs> I'm glad we got the party. Good buddies are hard to find. <laughs> well, I guess I need to start figuring out my move. And you better be there when I ship out, or else. Okay, chat. I think Flo is going to leave on officially on Thursday. That means we'll have an empty plot on Thursday. So, Chatters, we're going to end our current goal. And... Goal is now changing to 65. If we hit 65 subs today, then we will do a bonus extra long stream on Thursday. Okay. There we go. That is my stakes for you guys today. Anyway, let's go back to fucking grinding. I never liked Flo, honestly, because, like, she was a bit too proper. Kind of boring for me, TBH. So, I'm not gonna miss her too much. <laughs> I know, I totally get what you're saying, Issa. Like, the expectation of, like, getting things instantly has ruined me. Like, actually ruined me. Cause like with just the increase of like Amazon being able to get packages the next day or same day sometimes, 
Anytime there's not an option for expedited to chipping, I get instantly annoyed. And I know this is not good. It's not healthy. But you know, society. <laughs> It'd be like that. Oh, I got it! I think for now we're going with the flow. Like, I think what I wanted my initial theme to be... Was I wanted it to be like animal conservation. So I was gonna like make fake exhibits and put all like my statues up that we got from CJ and Flick. Kind of make it like an outdoor zoo almost. That's kind of what I go for, but I feel like that'd be a bit hard. So I kind of like the idea of having like a, a getaway. I think that'd be kind of an interesting theme. Yeah, today we're just cleaning up the island. Thank you for the gift of one to the chat room, Issa. I appreciate that, hun. Ah, the guy was just in stream earlier. But you're gonna get the name, or your name written in the sub journal at the end of stream. Thank you, hun. We are how many away from our Aurora sub goal chatters? Three away? Any Oilers? <laughs> Finally at 16k. Nice. Let's go. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Blame. You're totally fine. I understand you're new to stream, so as long as your questions aren't weird, go for it. And we actually have time to answer them. I do not use Nukazon, and I think it's fine. I think it, I think people can do whatever they want as long as it's not, like, actually bad. Because, like, Nukazon is, like, trading and stuff, right? It's nothing too crazy. So I think it's fine. Like, people have their own way of playing a game. I just don't like the games where it's pay to win. Like, you know, like the gacha games. I just don't like those. I think those are predatory and bad. Okay, let's see if they have any recipes. Oh, yes, finally! Kevin's always crafting and cooking. Ooh, bookkeeper's hive? Or bee beekeeper's hive? <laughs> Dude, remember when people used to, like, write out hand directions for you when he asked directions? Isn't that crazy to think about? Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's kind of cute. I think I have some hives already. It's weird for me because when I was in school, I remember people had smartphones when I was in like middle school and such, but I didn't have my first smartphone until very late middle school. Like I remember in third grade, one kid had like a flip phone and everybody was so excited to see it. But it's weird to me to think 
and go along life without having a smartphone. Because just having that access to so much information, like, at any point in time... ...is so valuable, in my opinion. Like, being able to know where you are, what places are nearby you, being able to get directions... ...basically instantly... ...I feel is so important. Or basically necessary... ...for my daily life now. It's weird to think... Like, I know when I leave my phone alone, I get anxious because there's so much information on it. Like, all my logins, passwords, and shit. Like, I, will, I never leave my phone unattended. Yeah, you are right. Your phone is kind of useless when you don't have service. <laughs> I'm like, I remember... I didn't have too many games on my phone either. Like, I think the- I used, like, the default games. I never got into Anchor Birds, Emmer, or a Fruit Ninja. I remember, like, I would borrow my friend's one and I would play on their phone. But I think the only game that I was, like, addicted to was the mobile Animal Crossing game. But I stopped playing it once New Horizons came out. Because I told myself I'm not gonna download any games on my phone because I know I will get addicted. I mean, I say I'm not addicted to mobile games, but I am- I literally cannot stop using social media. It is a problem. Like, whenever I pick up my phone, I just immediately go to TikTok. And not necessarily to watch stuff, but just look at my profile and stuff. To, like, see if I got any new comments or anything. Yeah, dude, I am so jealous when I see, like, a little fucking kindergartner have an iPhone. I'm just like, dude, how can you trust a little kid with something that is so expensive? Like, if I have a kid and they want a phone, I'm getting them, like, a basic-ass phone up until, like, they're maybe middle school. Like, they understand the value of money. Like, I'm not just gonna buy them expensive piece of tech when they're that young. Like, I think a tablet is fine because that's solely for entertainment, but a phone... I don't want to give them that much <laughs> information, I guess. I don't know. Because I, I wouldn't want my kids to, like, learn stuff, but... I wouldn't want them talking to strangers, you know? Talking about kids. I've always told myself that I never want to, like, physically have kids. I've always liked the idea of adoption. And the reason why, like, I've been thinking about it recently is because randomly, like, a month ago, my mom was like, you know... I wouldn't mind if you had kids right now. And it was like the randomest shit because, dude, I'm 23, I live with my parents, I don't have a job, I'm pursuing school. So why- li literally, why would it be beneficial for me to have a kid right now? Like, what the fuck? Because the thing that is, like, good and also bad about the adoption or foster care system is that people have to be evaluated, they have to be tested and approved to have a child or to foster a child. But in comparison, literally anybody can have a kid and just give birth and their parent. Like, I understand that the foster system is not the best, but in my head, hopefully anybody who does have a kid from the system will be a good parent. I understand there are some very bad foster parents, but to think the people who do go through that process who are generally going to be good parents, I feel like they will value and take care of their child more so. Because, you know, they went through all that time and that effort and all that paperwork, all that work and testing to actually have a kid. That's why, to me, it's psychotic to prevent um, queer couples from adopting. Because, you know, most of them are not physically able to have kids, but they're willing to go through all of that hard work just to have a family. That, to me, is amazing. That they're there, that they're that willing to do that, to go through all that effort. I think it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, exactly. You have to be dedicated to adopt a kid. And, like, I also tell myself, like, I need to make sure, like, I'm mentally sound enough to, like, raise a kid. Because, like, I don't want to have a kid and then they become fucked up because I messed up, you know? But. I don't know. It was just, it was just something I was thinking about the other day. It was just a wild thing for my mom to say. Oh, she was like, okay, like, you want to have a fucking grand baby in the house? Like, what the fuck? 
Like, multi-generational households are fine. Like, that's how some families are. Like, it's not commonplace in America, typically. Because, you know, like, the American dream is to have your own house, your own property. I think my mom, she's just in baby fever. Because, you know, like, her friends, kids are having kids. And I think she, ju she just wants that, you know? But, no way. No way. I... I'm not having a kid, like, ever. Do I have a Discord? I do not have a Discord. No, I do not. And not anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I find it weird, like, Discord in general. Like, especially Discord servers. I think Twitch is the only platform where people push to have a server. Like, if you look at other social media platforms, like Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube, not a lot of creators will push a Discord server. And I feel like Discord servers are fine, like, it's a nice place to have, like, a, a common place, like, group chat for your viewers. But, I feel like, I know whenever I join a streamer's Discord, I definitely feel, like, more close to the streamer. And, to me, in a sense, it feels predatory. Not grooming-wise. I mean, it does happen. But... I don't want anybody to become too close to me, so I've told myself, I've explained this multiple times on stream, but I'm not gonna have a Discord server until I can pay somebody to be there moderating, or on standby at least, at any given time. So, it's just my opinion. Yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying, Issa, like... There's a lot of my personal behaviors that I can see reflected or I learned from my parents that I don't necessarily want to um, pass on to any kids that I have or raise. Not, they're not necessarily really bad, mind you. It's just like some things that are not the best. So I think it's also weird how there's not like a class on like how to parent. How much do people pay to have moderators? Okay. That is a whole discussion that will, like, get people angry. Like, paying moderators. Um, I've explained my POV on this a while ago. But you're new, Blaine, so don't feel bad. I'm not calling you out. You're new, so I, I, I need to, like, reiterate stuff occasionally. But, um... It's basically standard to not pay moderators, whether it be, like, Twitch, Discord, that type of thing. Um, I know some people have special donation funds that will, like like funnel into paying the moderators but in my head i like the business model of incentive based wages in the sense of either profit sharing or like sharing bonuses that type of thing so if i ever have full-time moderators i would want to give them like a baseline pay and then also incentive bonuses or like a percentage of my wage because I feel like if you compensate your workers for any business, either well or properly, I feel like they'll indirectly want to work harder. Because, like, you know, if anybody has worked, like, a minimum wage job, like, you feel like it's dog shit because you're being paid the minimum amount when you feel like you're overworking yourself, right? So I feel like if people either get a higher wage, if they get regular or incentive-based wages, they're going to want to work harder. Because... Being compensated more will indirectly make you feel more worthwhile because you there's a basic understanding that your company values your time and your work. So, to answer your question, how much do people pay to have moderators? Probably nothing. Or if anything, very little. So, it, it's just something that... I know I want to change that normality. Like, I want to make sure anybody who works with me, works for me, is compensated accordingly. Like, I know I do a lot of things on my own. Like, I post everything, I edit everything myself. Um. Because I told myself, I'm not going to have anybody working for me or below me or under me until I can pay them. Properly. Like, at this current time, I will be honest. So, chatters, I'm being very honest right now. I don't have any moderators. Um, which is fine. 
it's not expected to have moderators when you're a small channel. A big reason why I don't have any. Let me preface, this does not mean you can act up. I have the fastest fingers. So I will clap you if needed. I also have multiple moderation bots enabled. So that's why when you look at the moderators list, it, it says there's active mods, but they're bots, right? Um, so I moderate my own chat room because I'm at a point to where I could offer, I guess, profit sharing to where like a moderator would get a percentage, but it's not big enough to justify in my head to have somebody on just yet. And also my chat room is not active enough to justify having more than one moderator, which is fine, which is fine. I'm not mad about it. But where was my where's my point going? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I was saying like I like doing things on my own because then I have like full control. Because <laughs> like you ever hear stories of like Twitch moderators like either being like really petty or like mean or like they backstab you, and it's just like I I can't I literally can't handle that shit right now. It's like I need to get my own stuff figured out before I can like trust someone. Also, I would like to say I'm not looking for moderators, so don't ask. That is cringe when you ask. I will choose and appoint who I feel is appropriate. And if they accept in the future, that's great. If they don't accept, that's totally fine. Respect. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's, it's like something that I'm grappling with. Because... I just want people to feel like they're respected. Cause like, you know when you work for any company, you're working under like, executives or the big boss mans. And it's very common to where people feel undervalued and I don't want that to happen. You're such a slave with all your content, thank you Issa. I try. I genuinely try. I mean, I know my content is nothing crazy, but I think about it to where if I had like an actual budget, like studio budget, what could I make? I would love to get into like photography. Like if I had a budget, I would love, you ever see, okay, I know these are kind of good. You ever see those like, those like selfie museums? Where you basically, it has like 10 different sets, like booths, and you can just go in and take pictures. I would love to have something like that. Like, just make multiple, like, basically mini art exhibits or art murals. And have people take pictures. I love those. I think that'd be so cool. Like, I think that's one of my long-term goals. I would love to have, like, a studio. People trying to learn how to parent be watching the family YouTube channels getting cancelled. Yeah, family YouTube channels are inherently toxic. Like, there's not a lot of labor laws concerning child labor when it comes to YouTube or online content. As there would be, um, or traditional media like TV or movies. So, the family channels where they're filming probably like a 40 minute vlog, they're probably filming for like 4 or 5 hours to edit down that long of video, right? And, to me, I've decided if I ever have a kid, I'm not going to film them. I'm not going to take pictures of them to post publicly until they're old enough to understand what I'm doing, right? I think uh, individuals will take a good approach if you know H3H there or Ethan Klein and Ela. They will post pictures of their kids, but they will like blur out the face once they turn one, which I think is totally fine because you know you don't want your child to be recognized and stuff. And also, like, your child, when they're that young, like, i.e., I would think, like, 10 or younger, they they always want to do what their parent wants. So, like, you know when you see, like, the family vlogs and, like, the kid is, like, acting all, like, super nice or, like, acting for the camera? Like, it just seems gross to me. It's like, obviously, the kid is going to want to do what the parent wants them to do. Like, you know what? They want their parent's validation. And, like, admiration. But it just feels so fake. I know when I was younger, I hated my picture being taken. Like, I told my mom once I was 18, do not post any more pictures of me. Or take pictures of me. I do not like it. Because, you know when you take a picture and you smile? 
and you smile just for the picture, it, it inherently feels disingenuous to me. Like, I know for me, any photos that I take of family or friends, I like it to be natural. I don't like when they pose. Like, I have this one really cute picture of my friend, and it's them just sitting on the living room floor, like, cuddling kittens. And I told them, don't look at the camera, don't pose. And it's just this nice, natural picture. It feels more real that way. Like, my <laughs> Funny story. Um, my sister, she hates her picture being taken, which is totally fine. I don't like my picture being taken either. But she was out watering the garden. I think this was last year. And it was just like this really nice, beautiful frame shot of our garden. And she's just standing there with the hose. And I, I like snuck a picture. <laughs> and I showed it to her like the next day. I was like, hey, I took this really cool picture. Do you like it? And she's like, I don't like that you took it without my permission, but it's actually a cool shot. I'm like, yeah. Like, what's it called when they don't pose? There's a term for it. I was gonna say stagnant, but that's like still, that's not the word. Natural. There, there's a term for it. I don't know what it is. I think another reason why I don't necessarily like pictures a lot is because it took me a long time. Because, like, I've always been confident in my body. I, like, I like how I physically look. It's just I don't like how my face is shaped as much. It's definitely something that I've learned to accept. Um, like, I never liked selfies. Even in high school when it was, like, trendy to, like, take pictures with your friends, I never took pictures with my friends. Because I just didn't like how my face looked. Looking back, I wish... Because, like, they would, like, take pictures of each other if we were in a group. But I would never join in on the picture. Like, anytime they asked, like, I would straight up deny them taking any picture of me. Like, looking back, I feel bad because I know they were doing that to try and be nice. But it was just out of my comfort zone, right? I think a big thing it came down to is, like, consent. Because, like I said, my parents would always take pictures of my sister and I when we were younger. And, like, we didn't like it. I think when it comes to kids, yes, you are their parent, but you still have to give them, like, a baseline level of respect. Like, they're still a person. They're, they're still deserving of affection and respect. You know what I mean? Dude, I haven't done anything with my flowers for the past few days. Oh wait, look! Look, I finally got the purple tulips, let's go! I think we almost have all the flowers now. I think I just need black lilies. Black cosmos. I know I need blue and purple windflowers. I think I got all the hyacinths. I think I got all the pansies. I got all the mums. And then I just need blue and gold roses. I think we're, we're getting there, we're almost done. I just been forgetting to water them the past few days because prepping for the cooking tournament or the cooking show was a lot. Now I can fully focus on decorating. Okay, I think we can water everything and then call it a day. Oh yeah, CJ's here. We can do the fishing challenge. I forgot. See what he's got for us today. <laughs> okay. CJ here, coming at you. Um, <laughs> well, it's more like standing by you, I guess. <laughs> anyway, ever since I started doing my sea sports challenges, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick. Each time somebody navigates a challenge offer to buy their fish, I pay a premium. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. Keeps it interesting. <laughs> but everyone's aboard. I get way fresh fish from my live stream, and the lucky angler gets showered in bells. Oh my god, he's just like Mr. Beast, guys! <laughs> so, how about a challenge? Sea sports style. Right now. Win and I'll make it ring. And I'll take you- and I'll talk you up on my stream. Chatter, is he gonna give us a channel? Is he gonna raid us? Oh my god. Imagine. Plus, my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want one. 
He's so talented. <laughs> you will do the challenge and then call it a day. You got it, chum. Time to dive in and school this challenge. <laughs> All right. Today I want you to catch three big time fish in a row. All about the size of a zebra turkey fish. And critters like soft shell turtles or snapping turtles also count. They're pretty big too. <laughs> and don't go catch another size fish or my subscribers will get really mad. And there goes your streak. Oh fuck, we can all piss off his subscribers, guys. We can't let that happen. We can't have his What would CJ's fans be called? C D wait. CJers? I was gonna say something with DJ, but CJ DJ. Oh, and don't let him slip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry, chat request. I know, I know, so many rules. But I gotta get folks happy or my views drop. Now go catch something. <laughs> Am I sub to CJ? We don't know what his Twitch channel is. If I was, I would I would be a I would be a tier three CJ sub. Uh oh. Is Ellie thinking too? Uh oh. Oh, I, I fucking hate the treasure hunt cutscenes and we're skipping it. They're fucking boring as shit. Wait, Chatter's gentle reminder. If we hit our sub goal today of 65, then we'll do a bonus searching for Aurora stream on Thursday. So, Chatter's gentle reminder. Because Flo is leaving the island. Big Sag. Okay, we gotta find three big time fish. That is a small fry that is now we're looking for. What type of emotes would CJ have, though? Dude, there's like- Oh, big fish? I was gonna say there's literally no fish and then one spawns. Imagine. I feel like that always happens, though. Oh, it's a four tapper. It almost threw me off. I almost got jibated. Need two more. Another one. Dude, another four tapper. Okay, one more, then we're done. I would leave. He's ugly. I did not like him at all. I mean, but to be honest, Flo was kind of mid too, so I'm not upset about her leaving. <laughs> to be a chip. Oh, so many clams today. Yeah, I think offline, when I do play Animal Crossing later, I think I'm gonna grind bait and then just fish for like an hour to calm down.
Because if we're going to do a fishing tourney next month, then i got to be grinding bait for probably every day to make sure I have enough. Oh! Easy. If I throw her right now, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Hey, chat, be quiet. Easy clap, first try. That's fucking sea bass. Come on, that's rude. <laughs> okay, let's go and press CJ subscribers. Maybe he'll come over to my chat and they'll all sub to me. Dude, why is everybody thinking today? Ugh. Just that Rudy said the whole hipster thing was kind of funny. And, I don't know, it's not supposed to be funny, so I was thinking. Maybe I should change it? No, be yourself. Don't listen to what other people say, they're little shitheads. Really? Wow, that's a relief. Now we don't have to worry about it anymore. And see, well, do whatever the fuck you want as long as it's fine and you're not violating anybody's rights. I do not give a shit. Oh, let, let's catch a fish right over to CJ stream. We're gonna stream snipe. Is he live right now? <laughs> Easy. Did you get on a camera, CJ? He's like, you're not enough content. He walks away. <laughs> what up, what up, fishinista? Pick the name for your angler cerno yet? <laughs> what? You got three big time fish in a row already? Now that's gonna make the chat explode. So much for my sea source challenge. Wait a bitch. Photo up. Smile chat. <laughs> Way to wreck that sea sports challenge. What a haul. Hey, wanna sell any of those fish? Because I wanna buy. I got bells for nautical miles, so chime on in. Why not? Hi, hacker. Welcome in. Yeah, fly fisher. Show me what you wanna sell. Oh, I only have four fish, Lamo. <laughs> I'm not grinding enough. Oh, you get a whole school for me? All together, that'll be 2,400 bells. Deal? Oh, yeah. Didn't you say you went on a trip? Or was that another chatter? But hi, welcome back, hacker. Okay, so. I think we can go ahead and pause here. Gents, reminder, chatters. If we hit our sub goal today, which is 65, so three more subs, chatters, then we will do a bonus. Searching for Aurora stream on Thursday. So if we hit that today, we'll do that on Thursday chatters um, But stick around don't leave just yet. We're gonna go ahead and switch gears to a Fan favorite segment of the show you laugh you lose. We haven't done you laugh you lose in like a week. So Get ready for that chatters, but For that we are another hour in the stream. So you can avoid that ad break by subscribing to four nine nine just five dollars to keep your coffee today and get ad free viewing all month long or if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. Or, if we have any secret boilers, now is your time to give subs. Okay. Oh, I gotta run the ad limo. <laughs> so, <laughs> get a snack and some water if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, hi Cutie Lee, I didn't see you. Fuck, you're getting an ad. <laughs> Bye Katie, welcome to stream. Lumo. Imagine coming into the stream and seeing an ad. Imagine not being subbed. Imagine. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I did hear about the Kirby Racing game. I'm so excited. We're definitely gonna play it once it's out. I cannot wait. I know everybody was comparing it to, um, what you call it? The Fall Guys, but I honestly think it has more monkey ball vibes. Like, I think it'd be a cool game if it was on, like, the Wii Fit or something. Or, like, if it had, like, tilt controls, too. Does anybody know? Was it, like, officially announced? Because it said summer, right? I don't think they have an official date. Yeah, it said summer. That, to me, was kind of like, it's probably going to be, like, August 30th or something. Okay, I'm changing my category. Hold chatters.
One blanket. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. One blanket. <laughs> okay, chatters, chatters. You guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. <laughs> the title's so stupid. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. Two blanket. <laughs> Come on, me. That dog chose violence that morning. <laughs> Wait, when I first saw this, I didn't realize it was a person. I did just thought it was like a really big remote control car. That wasn't a laugh. That did not count. Stop it! Straw check. Oh. <laughs> uh, deserved. Deserved. That was not seat. cool. Let's go. How are you talking about me? Oh my god, that's actually so cute. Concave somehow. All the sides are off, and I've been trying for. Oh. We have a cursed barbecue cunt. It's evenly cooking. The fucking saucy by itself. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs to cook saucies when fucking... For anybody scared of bugs or spiders, we'll give you a little tip on what to do. So go ahead and tape that motherfucker to the floor. Okay. Go ahead and stomp the fuck out of him. And usually you'd have to pick that bastard up with your hand, but then you can go ahead and take the tape, peel that baby right on. Yes! <laughs> Dude, why? Why? I fucking hate people who do shit like that. You're gonna like kill somebody one day, like actually. <laughs> Yo, you gonna eat those pancakes? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Save that for later. I want it. Uh, uh. <laughs> I like turtles. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh no. It's actually a super pretty bird too. Oh.
Why you got a deer inside? Explain to me what. Hey, Brushan, oh. leg and drip check. What? Yeah. Drip check. Oh. Eh, visa din na kleber. Aso. Hey, yo, ah. no, Adidas! Yo! Drip check. Oh. Hey, kolas kuna. What are those? Hey. Hey. What are those? Oh. <laughs> Allah, what, bar? Allah! Hey. Oh. Hey. Sheesh! Uh oh. Hey. Washing the car. Are they in the grocery store? No way. At first I thought they were in like a display car, but they're trying to dead ass drive through the doors. No way! Fuck it right! Oh! Are those cupcakes? Loud sound does not equal funny. understand oh my god okay well that was good I technically chuckled but I think it did not count because I was laughing at my own joke but anybody laugh anybody get got okay I think we only got time for one video today because I kind of got to end earlier because I got homework to do so Chaz we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to our sub calligraphy journal If you sub, cheer, or donate to the channel, I'll write your name all fancy and such. So I'm going to go ahead and get that second camera set up. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> There's also, you can use your channel points. For just 100 points, I will write your name for free. I'm going to get some music on for you guys. Hey, there it is. I did that. Okay, so just a reminder, chatters, you can use your channel points or you can sub cheer or donate to the channel and I'll write your name. Okay, let's go ahead and get that journal. We had two people donate to the channel today. Also, last week, as we were writing names, I felt bad because um, I kind of messed up two of the names. It's not in here. The five is kind of funny. And then I did the A messed up, so I, I wrote them off stream again. I, I redid this whole page because I felt bad. So that's why they made look kind of different than last time. 
because I want to make sure if I'm going to do names, they're written properly and nicely, so. Oh, so gentle reminder chatters, if we hit our sub goal of 65, we'll do a bonus, a bonus Aurora hunting stream. The pod you. And I'm getting my pens. If you want to know what pens I'm using, I'll go ahead and link them in the chat. Okay, so we had Issa and then Titans. Donate to the channel today. So first we had Titans with a 500 bit cheer. Getting nostalgia, nice. Surprisingly, because like I will always re-upload my VODs to um, YouTube, because I know Twitch only keeps them in their queue for so long. Whenever I play the Nintendo music, it never gets claimed, but whenever I sing a song, sometimes it gets claimed. Like, for demonetization, it's interesting. Because I think it was... This blue is way too dark. This is like indigo. I need to grab a different blue. Because last week when I sang Tattoo for the chat room, the YouTube demonetization flagged it. It has copyrighted music, even though I sung it with no background vocals. It was crazy. Let's add some flowers. Also, since this page is done, I'll be posting it on Twitter later today. Okay, that's another page done. Just a reminder, chatters, you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Oh, I need to add guidelines. Because usually what I'll do, you can't really see it, but I have like pencil lines to like determine the height. Because like I'll go through pages and I'll pre-write, but I didn't go far enough. So three from the top. Two, four in between. Then one in between. So next we had Issa with a tier one gifted sub to the chat room. Can I get the color of orange juice? For sure, lemon. For sure. But thank you for redeeming, hun. I appreciate it. Issa with a tier one. Go ahead and add some flowers.
the next we had lemon redeem orange I think the number 41 is going to be the perfect shade of orange. You love that American cheese. Here we go. Ice, lemon, vanilla. Okay, so that'll be last call for today. Unless anybody else wants to redeem or donate to the channel. Just a reminder, if we hit our sub goal today, we'll do a bonus stream on Thursday where we search for the love of my life, Aurora. Looks great, thank you. I appreciate that, Lemon. I'm glad you like it. I like how you redeem every stream because it'll be fun to look back through this book and just see like a million and one lemons being written down. <laughs> The chatters, last call. Last call. I think it's funny. I mean, it's only 100 points, so it's not like it's too expensive. Okay, chatters, that's it. We're drawing the line here. Okay, so it was a good stream. I was excited for today because I was so hyped from the Sunday stream, but thank you guys for hanging out with me today. No raid today. Nobody is live. Sag, big Sag. No raid. But, chatters, I will be live again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST. We're going to do Fall Guys with donation incentives, so look forward to that. Um, if you aren't already, go follow my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you're not already, go follow my Twitter. You'll see funny haha tweets and stuff about stream so go follow me there um yeah i think that's all i got for you guys um upcoming events we are doing the mario kart tournament on the last sunday of the month which is going to be sunday the 31st and we're probably going to be doing the one year anniversary subathon on august 2nd so like i said if you have any ideas for what we can do for that subathon put it in that twitter post reply that'd be great that'd be very helpful um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here so once again, thank you to anybody who came to stream. Any chatters, lurkers, any gifters. I appreciate you guys. As always, it's a pleasure hanging out with everyone. So I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye. <laughs>